here it is, the Barbican Centre. Built in the 70s of the iconic Brutalist style, it serves as the largest multifunctional performing arts centre in Europe. I genuinely get lost here a few times, not only because of the complex architecture, but it has so many different venues and hidden gems. I didn't even know there was a conservatory until last year. People tend to either love or hate Barbican Centre, perhaps because of its outstandingly unique style. However, it shall always be the people's space to me, and best representing the ideology trend of utilitarian, low-cost and socialist in the post-war era. Now let's come to South Bank. The Royal National Theatre is another example of brutalist architecture. It has three different theatres, which has the total capacity of 2,450 audiences. The theatre was founded by Laurence Olivier in 1963. Legendary actors such as Judi Dench and Anthony Hopkins have performed here. The view is absolutely amazing from here. The British Film Institute is just next to it. Joggers, street performers, tourists, lovers, probably my favourite area in London. The thing that I like most about Barbican Centre and National Theatre is that you can always find somewhere comfy to study or work. It gives you free space and relaxing atmosphere and you feel rather inspired.